Janet Jackson saw that statement that was put out in regards to her apology for spreading lies and misinformation on Vice President Kamala Harris's father. She saw that statement and she said, who said that? I didn't give anyone permission to put out a statement of apology, not on my behalf. And so the manager who put out that statement, Janet Jackson, fired him. A man, they won't even call him by name. A man who claimed to be Janet Jackson's manager said the singer, as well as her brother, Randy Jackson, fired him after he issued an apology tied to her controversial comments on Kamala Harris's racial identity over the weekend. For those of you who do not know what's going on, Janet Jackson did an interview with The Guardian. And during that interview, they were starting to speak about politics. And Janet Jackson repeated the racist MAGA lie that Kamala Harris isn't black because her father isn't black. And a, a man came out claiming to be her manager, I believe, if I remember correctly. His name was Mo Melsari, came out and put out a statement apologizing, saying that um, Janet Jackson respected Vice President Kamala Harris. Their intentions this point forward was to not be divisive and to um, be more unifying and things like that. And Janet Jackson was like, bitch, I didn't say that. <laughs> now, let me let me make this clear. If he put out that statement and Janet Jackson did not give him the authority, the approval, the directive to, she should have fired his ass. But let's be clear. Her firing him tells us all that she stands by her her lie. She stands by spreading lies and misinformation, racist MAGA nut lies. She stand by what she said in that interview. She believes that Kamala Harris is not black because her father is, is white. Her Jamaican father with the fro, with skin dark as mine, wasn't black. That's all I got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll see y'all later.